I called you yesterday. I texted you yesterday saying, hey, how'd you like to come on and talk about uh, that F1 race where everybody showed up in Miami um, yeah. like it was the Met Gala of sports, you know, and um, and what was going on there? Because Brady was there hugging it out yeah. with Michael Jordan. And I wanted to get your two cents on on Brady's future as well. And then we'll wake up today and see this news and then heard from Andrew Marshawn of the New York Post, 10 years, 375 million dollars for brady to do this and now i guess we have our answers to why right jeff you know that what? is the why right and you know what the funny thing is rich is i mean we're talking six months ago tom brady wasn't thinking about being an nfl analyst in fact for years that's been at the bottom of his list in terms of post-career ambitions um but as we've all seen this market just suddenly just skyrocket and suddenly uh i guess ambitions change <laughs> then again i guess you know I don't really have any plans to become like a landscaper or a lawnmower, but you throw me two million and hand me a rake, and I'll be uh, I'll be out there in the yard. <laughs> and it'll be a very lush uh, front lawn, no doubt. <laughs> right. I'm sure you'll put your you'll put some elbow grease into all of that. So, in in all seriousness, when yeah. when you were doing your reporting uh, back in, I guess what is that, late January now mm-hmm. or early February, yeah. Yeah. about yeah. Tom Brady's uh, retirement or 1.0. What this was not part of the plan, right? Well, or did it become no. part of the plan the minute that Fox heard he was he step away from retiring? No, um, but as we saw, um, you know, second only to perhaps the wide receiver market in free agency, um, this this off season, whether it be with Joe Buck, it's weird to talk about, by the way. Uh, our industry <laughs> I know <laughs> it says it's newsworthy but it is you know when when uh when Joe and Troy did their deals with ESPN and suddenly Amazon was chasing Sean McVay uh and that number started to go up you know suddenly it, this industry changed dramatically you know Tony Romo what he was making on his first deal uh felt like a groundbreaking thing and now it's uh it's not even top of the market not even close so no, it was it really it really wasn't. Uh, as far as I have a long understood, wasn't something that was on Tom's mind. But I think that's also why I've always sort of warned, even when it comes to like Miami Dolphins ownership. You know, I think I think even maybe last time I was on here, we were kind of talking about there's a lot of reporting about Tom going into that, and even when he was retiring the first time, like yeah, the conversations were happening about that. But I kept warning people, like, until ink is dry on those deals, they're so complex and so nuanced, it's not done. And and Brady has been talking for years, as most athletes do, about what he's going to do when ultimately it's not football anymore. And those are fluid conversations until someone plops down a 10-year deal worth $375 million, and then all of a sudden your plans are solidified. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.